The Progress Energy Center in downtown Raleigh is one of the best places in the state to experience the performing arts. The historic Memorial Auditorium first opened in 1932. There's the beautiful Mamandi Concert Hall, the Fletcher Opera Theater, and the experimental Kennedy Theater. Hi, I'm the Artful Traveler, and I'm in downtown Raleigh at the Progress Energy Center for a festival called Art on the Edge. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Terry Dollar, and I'm the program director for Art Explosure. Normally, we produce First Night Raleigh and Art Explosure, our spring jazz and art festival, which we've been doing for 29 years. But this event is called Art on the Edge, which is a contemporary arts festival. And what we tried to do was to bring some unusual, cutting edge kind of art um, to Raleigh and to the general public. Do you want to go inside and see Levity, Architects of the Year? I would love to. Let's go. Let's go. So tell me about this. You call it a, a luminarian. What is it? Uh, luminarium comes from Latin uh, lumen for light, arium for air. Therefore, we call it a light and air sculpture. It's a, a, a place to experience color, uh, a place to, to relax, and uh, a place to feel color and feel how colors affect us both physically and emotionally. The really fantastic things about this is that it's, it can be so many things to different people. You know, for some people it's a spaceship, for some it's a church, some it's a mosque, some it's a blood vessel. You know, it's, it's so personal and it is designed as a relaxing, calm space, but so that people can have their own experience with the artwork. Oh, we really enjoyed it. The kids had a ball, maybe a little bit too much fun. We try to keep in touch with what's going on in Raleigh, especially stuff that's kid-friendly. And at kid-friendly times, we make every effort to expose our kids to whatever we can. We do come often. We try to come down to all the festivals that are offered and think it's enriching for the children as well as us adults. It's international and from different places. I live downtown, and this is downtown, and here's a largely free event full of people full of original stuff and what's there not to like um, I mean this is what urban settings can provide um, and, and Raleigh is, is doing more and more of this which is exciting and so of course I'm going to be a participant. I think festivals are important because they bring the art and the community together and we all need great reasons to come together as a community anyway to celebrate who we are to celebrate where we live and what better way than to do that through an arts experience. And now without further ado let's give it up for Australia's Strange Fruit. They're called sway poles, so they're, they're a rendition of an ancient Chinese circus technique called sway pole, which was made of wood, about three times as high as we were, but they didn't sway, they just kind of, kind of just did that. So we reinvented it and used uh, fiberglass to make a, a whole new kind of version of it, and we're the only people in the world that do it. One of the main things for me, the reason why I do this work is, we have a, a charter in, in our company which is about transforming public space. So what we, um, what we, what we try to do is to, is to reinvent uh, an, an ordinary piazza or a square like here and create a, a well it's a, it's a piece of, sc of sculptural art first, so it's a, it's a visual effect first and then to try and get some kind of emotional kind of, kind of transference to the people who've decided to come. It, a, a really, really important f thing for me is, is p performing outdoors means that um, people don't have to pay, which means we get everybody which is really lovely, it means we don't, we, we just get the community. So, and especially the kids, because you know, often, you know, families with sm small kids, they, they, don't, they don't get to go to, to, to art at all because they're too busy or it's not, it's not kid friendly and stuff. So actually to have, have a, 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 an avenue and, and a, a platform that, that addresses across the broad spectrum of the community as well as for the children, it's, yeah, you can't, you can't really get any better than, than that as far as I'm concerned. Art festivals are a great way to experience and support the arts, and they're fun for the whole family. At Art on the Edge, this is the Artful Traveler.